Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a menu walkthrough of all of the settings and options on the DJI Crystal Sky Monitor. Now I thought I had done this video but it appears that I have missed it or I have lost it. I got a feeling that I filmed it and accidentally binned it. So what I'm going to do is take you through all of the menu settings on the Crystal Sky Monitor just to give you an idea of what options there are compared to a normal Android device and let you see what we've got. So let's Let's take a look and let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into the main settings. Now you can get into this in two different ways. The first is by pressing settings at the bottom down here. And the second is when you enter the quick menu, you have a settings option at the top there as well. Both of these take you to the same place. So if I click onto that and it takes us to the main settings screen. In here we have all of the options for the Crystal Sky device. So at the top we have Wi-Fi, so if I click onto that, that takes us into the main Wi-Fi options for our local Wi-Fi networks. And under the top right hand side you can see some dots and you have a couple of other options like Add Network, Refresh, Saved Networks and Advanced. If we go under Advanced, you can see you've got some additional options like network notifications, scanning options and Wi-Fi and certificate options as well. You've also got WPS and WPS pin entry. Coming back to the main screen, the next one we have is data usage. So if I click on data usage, it shows us how much data online that our apps are using. Now, this is a hang up of a feature within Android. And as you can see, it shows you the actual data usage that the Go app, the browser, the Android OS, system upgrade and Facebook, because I've been testing third party apps on this. Over in the right hand corner we have the three dots which give us the res network restrictions option and here you can change through the options for what is being picked up and if you want to restrict a specific connection so your Crystal Sky device does not use that for getting connected to the internet. Below wireless and networks we then have more. Under more you have the options for airplane mode, portable hotspot and cellular networks. Cellular networks is not active at the moment because Crystal Sky does not have a built in modem however DJI have stated in the future you will be able to connect in a 3 or 4G dongle into the USB port and you will be able to use cellular data on the Crystal Sky device. Next. Under devices, we have the sleep options. So if I click on that, it allows us to set the time duration that the Crystal Sky will take to go to sleep. Below that, we have storage, which shows us the internal storage status, how much of it is in use and what apps are using it. So you can say we have a total space of 2.91 gigabytes on the internal storage. And then we have our 51.7 gigabytes on our NAND flash which is our built-in storage but that is more like our internal SD card. Next you can click on apps and media for instance and it'll tell you how much storage space each app is using and if it's running or not. As we scroll down you also have the storage options for the SD card slots, so SD0, SD1, and it's telling us the total available storage, the option to erase the SD card and unmount the SD card at the bottom. Below this is the battery saver options. Here it shows us where we can set the features for saving battery power whilst the Crystal Sky device is in use. Now currently I have this set to off but you have features such as indicator, turn on power mode automatically when the battery gets below 15%, then you've got reduced brightness, disable location services, restrict network access and features like that. So here it allows you to set the battery saver to get the maximum amount of time out of your Crystal Sky device. Next, we have the HDMI options. This is where you're able to turn it on and off, set the output resolution, the screen zoom, the screen crop, and the screen timeout settings. Then at the bottom of this row, you have the launcher settings. This is where you select which apps you want to show on the front screen. The thing to remember about Crystal Sky is that it is an Android device, but it is customized by DJI. So you don't have the normal landing page. DJI have added their own customized front screen. And here you can set the two apps which you would like to see. So for instance, I have DJI Pilot and DJI Go 4. If I click on the Pilot dropdown, it gives us the option 
option of go for go or pilot and you can choose which of these that it sets to moving over to the other side of this row under devices you then have sound and notifications again this is where you can set the media volume and the notification volume and other sound settings battery will show us the overall battery features here it shows us the overall battery percentages and the lifetime that it has been giving us so you can see how much power each app has been using and then under this corner option here you have the battery saver features again like shown earlier the good thing with the battery menu is it gives you an idea of what apps are using your power you can click on the graph and you can look into it in a bit more detail and look at what features are using your battery power such as gps wi-fi and all the other features Next we have the app screen. This is where we're able to have a look at what apps are currently running, what apps are installed, and you also have the ability to uninstall them from here as well. So if I click on apps, it will jump into the apps running screen. So as you can see, we currently have the device memory showing at the top, system settings, launcher, DJI update, DJI Go 4, and system upgrade. If I scroll along at the top, we can shift over to all, and this will show us every app that is installed on this device. So if I scroll down, you can see we have all of these apps installed. You can also see that I have installed Facebook that I've been using to test. If I wanted to uninstall that app, I would simply click on it and it gives me the option to force stop, uninstall, move to SD card, clear its data, clear the cache and clear the defaults. So to remove Facebook, I would simply click on uninstall, click OK and it would remove the app from the Crystal Sky device. It's worth noting that you can only uninstall apps that you have added later on. You cannot uninstall the standard DJI apps that they ship with it. However, that is currently only three applications. Next, we have compass calibration. Here is where you would calibrate the internal compass in the Crystal Sky device. When I click on that, it gives us the option to follow it through the compass calibration process. You would first of all rotate it horizontally and then you would rotate it vertically. My advice to when doing this is do it extremely slowly. In my own findings, any fast movements and it will not calibrate properly. You also want to make sure that you're not wearing any smart tech, so no personal watches, no smart watches on you or anything like that. Make sure you have no metal on your person, leave your phones on the side and do this somewhere out of the way from any metal. Moving down, we have the personal menu. This is where we have the settings for location. And here you can turn on GPS on and off, and you can also set the mode. DJI have a number of modes. You have high accuracy, which will use both Wi-Fi and GPS and any cellular networks if it was connected. You have battery saving, which will only use Wi-Fi and cellular networks, and device only will only use the GPS. My advice would be to keep it on high accuracy when you are using GPS. Below this, you have the recent location requests. And as you can see, DJI Go has been using request for location quite often, as it would be because I've had it set to do that. Below that, you have the backup and reset options. This is where you would reset the Crystal Sky device back to the factory settings. At the top, we have factory data reset. If we click on that, it gives us the option to reset the device back to factory image settings. You also have the option here to erase SD card. That is not the SD cards you have in the side of the device, but the internal memory, so what I said was the internal NAND flash, that would erase that as well. I would suggest if you have any strange problems with Crystal Sky, do the reset. Reset the device back to factory standards because I have found, especially after updates, doing a reset clears it back down and the device tends to perform perfectly fine after that. Below that, you have copy crash logs to SD card. This is a feature for DJI to allow them to see the internal logs from the device. So a bit like on your Phantom when they ask for the flight logs, DJI also keep system logs on the Crystal Sky device so they can see what problems have been caused by the system image. Over the third side, we have language and input. Under that, you have your language settings, your keyboard options and your Android keyboard options. And here you can set depending on what keyboard you want, as well as your main language. The final options are at the bottom. We have the system and date menu, 
which is where we set the date and time from network, automatic time zone. Again, that's part of where it would set its location settings based on the time zone. And then the date, time and selected time zones. I would strongly suggest using that as automatic. However, if you do have any problems, you can turn off automatic time zone and automatic time and then set them manually. About device just gives you some basic information about the Crystal Sky device. So you have status, which shows us the battery level, the IP addresses and things like that. Then we have legal information, regulatory information, and basically the system image versions. Finally, over here, we have update. Update is where you would ask the device to check for updates from your network. Now, currently this is running the latest version of the firmware, so it won't actually let me update. But if I wanted to, I would simply click check for updates. It would go online and see if it's connected and see if there are any new updates available for the device. You will notice that there is a hidden option there, which I've got called developer options. I'm not going to go through this one because this is a feature within all Android systems and I've been using that for testing some specific software. However, that is not something I'm going to go into in this video. Next, I'm just going to quickly go over the quick menu and you enter that by pressing this third button down on the right hand side. And this is the main quick settings menu for the Crystal Sky monitor. Now here it shows you the current battery power remaining, the current time, power being used and the screenshots captured and any status. And then we have our settings over here for Wi-Fi, HDMI, SRE. You have the settings option, the option to take a screenshot, the option to flip the screen, D-Trans and D-Opt. Wi-Fi, simply if you press it, takes you to a quick Wi-Fi menu to be able to connect to networks without having to go into the main settings. The HDMI options are basically a mirror of the options we have in the main settings and again allow you to turn on and off HDMI and set the resolutions. SRE is a set of colour options for the screen and it basically allows it to enhance or dull certain parts of the screen's output. So as you can see you have normal, enhance all, enhance shadows or enhance highlights. So it's basically a set of brightness and contrast adjustments which are preset by DJI just to really get the Crystal Sky to push the outputs. Screenshot is simply a press to take a screenshot and it will take a screenshot of the screen you were on at the time. And again, it would take a shot of the screen in the background and not the menu. Flip screen is the feature that DJI added for the Mavic and Spark. So it allows you to run the display upside down. And if I pop it, it literally flips the screen 180 degrees. And if I turn it off, it flips it back. This feature is now persistent, which means when you turn the Crystal Sky off, it will remain in place. And no matter if you power it on and off from the main power, it will still remain in the position you left it last. DTrans is the option to transmit files from your Crystal Sky device to a smartphone that has DJI Go 4 installed. I did do a specific video on this, so please go and have a look at that and I can demonstrate that in use for you. Finally, we have Dopt. Dopt is display optimization settings for DJI Go, and the basics of this is it will match the display's resolution on Crystal Sky to the recording resolution on your aircraft. So what it will do is it will show a much smoother image than you would have if you have this turned off. Now, this isn't a feature I have played with a lot yet myself. However, I intend to have a look at it in the future. That is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as you can probably see, if you're a regular subscriber to the channel, I have made some changes and we've been doing some work in the workshop and I've got a new bench. So from now on, I'm going to be doing my videos from this corner over here. Please subscribe to the channel. I will do another video again soon and thank you very much for watching.